Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. So happy that you guys are here. Um, you guys have seen the title. You guys already know why you're here. This is, I just, I felt called. I felt like this would be fun to do. Um, we are now in the uh, fall equinox energy. Okay, so we've had the equinox. I know in the southern hemisphere you guys are in springtime now right? Springtime, yes. Um, but in the Northern Hemisphere, it's fall, right? So I'm going to roll with that because this is a time right now of release. This is a time of clearing. This is a time of uh, extreme transformation, healing, but there is beautiful balancing taking place as within, so without, right? So it's happening within, okay, where we are balancing ourselves, leveling ourselves out more and more and more, releasing what needs to go, stepping into our higher timelines, in uh, embodying more of our masterful ascended selves. Um, we are seeing more clearly the shit that needs to go. I just, re I just <laughs> recorded a whole reading that ended up going like 55 minutes, but it's a good reading. So you guys will see it if, if you, you know, it's probably going to be right what, below this one when I upload it. But anyways, Let's get right into it. So I felt called, we were in the last week of September, right? So I felt called to do a, uh, cause I'm gonna be starting the October Zodiacs. The first part of October, what's coming in, yada yada, right? For, for all of the, for all the Zodiacs. But I thought that it would be fun to just do a quick like all 12 Zodiacs and get messages for all 12 Zodiac signs of what to expect, what the energy is like this last week of September, okay? With the equinox, you know, here, Libra season here, um, there's a lot of beautiful, magical change in the air, okay? Um, wish fulfillment energy, uh, harmonious balancing, you, you know, unions, just things leveling out. So let's get into it, all right? So on the, you know, first in the Zodiac calendar is my beautiful Aries. All right. So, you know, even though this is like all 12 zodiac signs, we are one big collective. Okay. So like, I don't have Virgo placements in my chart or in my, you know, any planetary placements, Virgo, nothing, Aquarius, nothing, uh, Leo, nothing, Gemini, nothing. But I, um, definitely watch the readings, you know? And if it's like, uh, if like a reader is doing something like this, I'll watch, of course, like different planetary placements and things like in my chart, cause that gives you the whole story, okay guys? So if you're only watching your sun sign or your rising sign or whatever it is, you're 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 missing a huge part of the overall story for you at this time, okay? All right, so with that being said, here we go. For Aries, please. Actually, let me give this one more good shuffle here. These cards are not the easiest to shuffle, but I've broken in this deck. It's been like two years now. <laughs> and it's finally like in a place where it's broken in. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really proud that I'm able to shuffle it this way. Oh. All right, so cards are being a little stubborn, a little blocked energy. And I totally just shuffled them like and mixed them up. So some are going to be like upside down, some aren't great, but it's okay. You guys know if you've been with me, um, I don't, I don't, I mean, the cards are great for confirmation and you know, all the things, but they're not needed. Um, okay, so for Aries. For Aries, Aries, two of wands, okay? So this last week of September, you could be um, looking out to your future. You could be planning some things, uh, setting goals, intentions, strategizing here. Um, for some of you guys, you might be planning a trip or you might be feeling a call to travel or maybe you're just like, I need to get away, I need a break, okay? then do it. This is like green light, go, do it, okay? But I also feel, let's get one more for Aries, please. I also feel that this is, um, you 
you're leaving things behind here. You're leaving things behind. There's passionate new beginnings coming in. She's holding on to the Ace of Wands, okay? So this could be just like you're leaving things behind. You're releasing things that aren't serving you. You could, you could literally be like possibly moving. What I'm getting is like the things that you've been looking out to your future. It's like you're going to start seeing these things show up. Okay, and what I also think is that there's someone here who's been planning to, I don't know, make a move towards you. Let's clarify. For Aries, someone planning to make a move towards Aries. Yep, three of cups. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep, that's a big yes. That's a big green light. Yep. Okay, so Aries, there's... There's clean slates, fresh starts. The Fool is a, a beautiful leap of faith into the unknown, following your intuition. Again, for some of you guys, and right there, Three of Cups. Okay, so this is soulmates coming together. Soulmate reunion, union, whatever you want to call it. The star is aligning. Part of, this is communication also. Sorry, loves, I just need to... Close the blinds a bit because the golden hour is here and uh, it's shining through and it's beautiful, but <laughs> it's making it like I can't see. Okay, so yeah, so someone's taking a leap of faith towards you. They've really needed strength uh, to do this, but I also feel Aries that you know this week moving into October, you guys are tapping into your strengths. You guys are seeing more of of your strengths you're you're embracing these parts of yourself you know i really feel that there's an energy here of um like i'm not gonna let this take me down like i'm gonna i'm gonna be the victor over this like i'm not letting this take me down and that energy has come through strongly for me today in um, readings collective messages let's see the oracle card for you it's hedgehog love <laughs> yeah there's a love here look at all this green heart chakra energy hedgehogs i love hedgehogs I would love to have a hedgehog someday. Woo. Um, maybe you do have a hedgehog. I don't know. Now I'm getting Sonic the Hedgehog. Remember that that video game? Um, Sonic and Tails, the little fox. Okay, so Sonic was really fast, right? You, you could press the one button, boom, 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 and you can get him spinning, 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 and then you release it, and he's like, Froom! he takes off, right? So I feel that. I feel that there's been this buildup of momentum, speed, and at, around this time, it just boom, takes off, okay? This could also indicate love coming in very fast. Positive energy. Card number 10. This is new beginnings and completion here. Okay, so high five Aries. Uplifting new friends. See, so you're, you're meeting new people. You could be going out and about. There could be social events. Like, I don't know. But uplifting new friends is um, this right here. But it's about also like uplifting energy coming towards you in love. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm getting like good news is on its way, okay? So get ready. All right, Taurus, my beautiful Tauruses. For Taurus, what do we have for Taurus, please? For Taurus. Ace of Cups. Self-love first and foremost, baby. So you guys are really, uh, this, this, this week, it's like, you know what I'm getting is like, okay, first of all, you're choosing self-love. You guys have been embodying self-love. You're choosing self-love. It's where your self-love pays off. So, and it's like almost like in the eyes of the universe, like you're ready for this new loving new beginning here because you yourself have started embodying that energy. Yeah, see, it's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. Yep. All right. So a new beginning in love here. Okay. This could be someone coming back around from the past. Maybe there's unspoken words between the two of you guys. Um, someone wants to like definitely like be romantic with you. They want to like wine and dine, you know, they want to, I'm getting, they want to show you off. So this is someone who like views you as like this beautiful or handsome, you know, like energy where it's like, yeah, this is my person. Yep. This is my person. I love my person. It's like that. They're very proud. There's a, they're very proud of you. This is someone who sees the work that you've done with yourself and that you're embodying self-love and they they wanna they they wanna they wanna feel this love, okay? They wanna feel the love. Alright, so let's see here. What's the Oracle card for Taurus? 
What? A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. Okay, so for, for some of you guys, there, there is endings here. All right, endings bring beginnings, but this could also be someone who is ending something in order to pursue a new beginning in love with you. Okay, Taurus? So that is what I have for you. Dragons could be relevant as well. Card number 13, which is the death card in the major arcana. It's a karmic number. It's a beautiful number though, but it is that. It's, it's karmic stuff ending. Okay, so there you go. All right. Oh, speaking of dragons, my beautiful little dragon my mama got me. Um, it is... Oh my gosh, what is it? Ocean Jasper? I want to say some kind of Jasper. Very healing energy. Um, <clears throat> and she, there's a master carver. His name is Leandro. And uh, there's, a, I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I know I'm like Gemini next, but I wasn't channeling for Gemini at that moment. This is for me, like just an overall energy for you guys. It's a victorious time for everybody. Okay, there's victory, winning, recognition and rewards. Okay, so again, incoming energy. October is magical month, okay? Anyways, Leandro Souza, I want to say. He's a master carver, but he does like beautiful skulls and dragons and different things, but very powerful little piece. So anyways, some of you guys may need to work with some healing crystals at this time. All right, I'm getting like rose quartz, uh, green. I'm getting a lot of heart chakra stuff for the heart chakra. Okay, so here we go. Gemini, my beautiful Gemini's. Last week of September, here we go. Page of Cups. Don't stop believing, right? Hold on to that feeling, yeah. right? There's something here about don't stop dreaming, okay? This week, your dreams can be very vivid. This could be you dreaming of someone, someone dreaming of you. This is a card of communication. Yep, the chariot. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy, Gemini. All right, so something is coming towards you. Someone is coming towards you. This is also about you moving forward victoriously in your life around this time. You're just, you're, you're, you're moving forward, okay? You're leaving it all behind. You've been balancing out your energy. Don't stop believing, don't stop dreaming. Okay, there's miracle moments. This is like very blessed energy. It's very much like you thought it couldn't happen. Oh, watch, watch it happen. And it's gonna be beyond what you were even dreaming of, okay? So I love it, I love it. Big breakthrough energy, big truthful moments, new beginnings, Archangel Michael, a lot of happiness, bliss, freedom, feeling like just I'm on top of my world. Like this is beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Yeah, someone wants to give to you. Yeah. All right. So you've been healing the heart space. There's some kind of equal give and take energy coming towards you is what I want to say. All right. Be sure to, uh, you know, when it comes to energy, it's, it's about, you know, it is, it's that balance about what you put out, you get back. Okay. So Gemini, make sure that you guys are putting out good energy, good vibes. Make sure you guys are, um, you know, not just taking energy, but giving energy is what I want to say, okay? There's a balance here of some kind that needs to be balanced out, or for some of you guys, it's a message. Oh, all right, there we go. Elizabeth and the lion. It's supposed to be like, you know, Queen Elizabeth, I don't know, the first or something. <laughs> it is time to become a great leader. Okay, so I actually recorded your, uh, your I, I did like the, the, the end of September zodiacs, and I did all 12, I did readings. You and Sag were the two last ones I needed to do, so I uploaded those today. Okay, this card, I am certain, came out in your guys' message, okay, about being a leader and taking the lead or whatever it is. Here it is again for you, Gemini. All right, so the lion energy, I feel, is resonant. 20, it's a two. Two is about balance. It's also about partnership, okay? Okay. So I feel that there is this very strong leadership, like brave, brave energy, courageous energy, loving energy, loyal energy. 
moving towards you because you you've really leveled up okay i feel like commitments like there's commitments happening here okay may not happen this week but we are honing in on this week so you can meet someone someone comes back like whatever it is okay so that is what i have for you my beautiful gemini's all right for cancer for cancer on the road again i don't know why i'm hearing that I can't wait to be on the road again. All right, so cancers, nostalgia, memories, missing someone, thinking back of better days or the good times, whether this is you or someone else. Cancer, someone's, someone's missing you. Someone can see with their third eye. They, with their third eye, they're seeing a future with you. They're going, that's someone... I could grow with. That's someone I could evolve with. That's someone I could settle down with. Okay. I'm also getting like, what was I thinking? Yeah. See, what was I thinking? This whole time I've had walls up. I was guarded. Okay. This is someone who I feel they want to make amends with you. I, I feel like they want to fix this. Yeah. They desire it. You have nine, nine showing up. Yeah. They see you as nine of pentacles. Like I almost feel this person is scared because they feel like you're someone that's very, like you're good on your own, you're independent, you are, uh, you got your own finance, you know, finances, uh, abundance and, you know, stability and, you know, you've got your own, you know, I got, I can buy my, you know, I can buy myself flowers, that whole song, you know? So this person is almost going like, gosh, like I've never met someone like this, you know, and it kind of scares me. Like, you know, I feel like they could just dispose of me because they don't need anyone. They're good, you know? And I feel like that kind of has freaked this person out a little bit because they're used to being needed. It's very codependent energy. But something has shifted here. Something has shifted here, okay? They could be a little bit guarded. They could have some walls up. But I think very quickly these walls just come down. And I feel like you break these walls down. Like, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but this person... Um, they may come in kind of guarded still, but it's like... As soon as you guys talk or something happens, all their walls just come crumbling down. Like they can't, they can't be guarded like that with you. Okay, so that's what I got. Here we go for Cancer. The deep dark sea mermaid finds solutions in the unknown places in the darkness. Okay, so for some of you guys, right, this this there could be some things that you guys have been working through could also be this person, right? Where you find answers. It's like darkness is where creation is born. I just recorded like a 55 minute reading all about this. Are you feeling sad, confused, you know, lonely? Are you feeling like you were like knocked out, out of your, you know, alignment in a, in a way recently, right? Where you're like maybe in the shadow period, hermit energy, right? And this is for everybody. You're not alone. Okay. So this has been like a time of like, where you're finding more out about yourself, okay? And this week, there could be some moments of, you know, where, where this, this kind of stuff comes up, but it's, it's, there's messages for you. There's lessons. There's reasons, okay? And it's all for your highest and greatest good, so keep that in mind. Finding solutions in unknown places. Yeah, I feel this is like things just start working out in ways and you get answers and clarity and you're just like, whoa, like that's crazy. Like I never thought this and that, you know? So it's, it's kind of like that energy that I'm getting. All right. My beautiful Leos, my beautiful Leos. Holy shit. It was just like, <laughs> okay, Leo. All right. For some of you guys, um, Okay, what I'm getting with this is like headache and head pressure too. So with the five of uh, swords, okay, so maybe you guys have been experiencing headaches or you're just getting a lot of like pressure or just, I'm getting a lot of like activity in the crown and the third eye, okay? So there's an energy here where, where around this time and throughout this week, you guys really need to work on grounding your energy, okay? Nothing bad, like we're all receiving this stuff, right? But there's something with that. Also, someone around you feels like they screwed up, okay? This is someone who released you or you released them. They're they're feeling heartbroken. They're feeling a lot of sadness, grief, and remorse, regret over, over this like letting you go. It's like how did you're the one that got away. You're the one that got away. And this person is um they've learned a lot. They've uh it's like they're they've learned a lot. This is something where they're 
they've been watching you, they've been spying, and it's like the more that they see you or the more that they, you know, see you rise or whatever it is, it's like the more they, they feel that regret, that shame, that sadness of like, God, like I really screwed up. Like, how did I let this happen, you know? Um, but so you have someone here who's spying on you this week. They're really watching you, keeping an eye on you. You know, I feel like this person could be releasing things on their end while they watch you. The frog princess. Heed wise counsel and listen, okay? So card number 21, this person is heeding the call of the soul. They are listening to the divine signs, the synchronicities. Um, they may have gotten advice from someone, maybe talk to someone close to them about this. What do I do? I feel like I really screwed up here. I really want this person back or I want to be in their life again. You know, so they are a uh, heeding wise counsel and they are ready to listen. First of all, they feel like you're someone very wise, very knowledgeable. Like they've learned the student a lot from me. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel this is a message that comes in from someone who's learned some things here and they've seen, they've seen some things here. They, they're definitely feeling this emotionally, right? They want to fix this. Okay. All right, Virgo, my beautiful Virgos. Ooh, split the deck on the sun card. Virgo, you guys have been getting such beautiful energy lately. So a lot of enlightenment around you this week. You could be having aha moments, breakthrough energy. You could be getting a lot of like downloads, um, divine seeds coming to fruition where you have a, an idea that bursts out of nowhere and it's a part of your soul path, your soul journey something you want to begin, get certified for, go back to school, learn. I don't know. It could be anything. Um, but a lot of the spiritual enlightenment around you, um, you're just, you're going to see the light somehow this week. Okay. Two of wands. Wow. And bottom of the deck again is the knight of cups and the six of wands. Okay. So yeah, th this could be enlightenment, like someone comes in and with that sunshine energy, they open up to you, they confess. I feel like this could be kind of shocking because I feel like this is someone who is typically like, they haven't said shit. Like they've been very closed off with the sealed envelope. Okay. They've got some things they need to say. All right. This is someone who's been daydreaming about you. They've been planning this for a while. This could also be someone brand new. Okay. So I will say that this could be someone who's a secret admirer. They could be completely new. This could be someone that you manifested while you were looking out, manifesting your dreams, looking out to your future. You thought of like the perfect partner and then boom. Okay. Mr. Love himself shows up, right? The Knight of cups, but I'm getting that this is someone I feel a past energy here. Okay. So there's victory here for you this week. Victorious energy. You feel like the victor. You feel like hashtag winning, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Like, like it's, it's like you see the light in the way of like, yeah, this is why I've been going through the things I've been going through for this moment. I see it now. I get it. Thank you. You know, the brother raccoon, a safe place for you to go. All right. So this week, you guys are really um, protecting your energy. You're feeling like the call to maybe be home, being your safe spots or around people that, you know, that you love, like sanctuary energy. Um, but what I'm getting is it's card number four. I feel like this is um, a safe place where, where for you to go is like in someone's arms. Like this person is like, you're safe with me. I'm not going to hurt you. I love you or I see something in you. I see something with us. It's like that. Okay. And this could be, if it's a past person, someone who recognizes and feels that you, you feel like a home energy could be a new energy too. That's an instant soul recognition where they're just like, I found my person. This is, this is where I belong. All right. For Libra, for my beautiful Libras. Happy birthday, Libra. It's our birthday season. <laughs> I'm in October, Libra. Ooh. All right, Libra, what do we got? Ooh, it's the Knight of Cups again. Holy what? Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. There is someone here who is dying to tell you something. They, they need to get something off their chest. It has been weighing on this person for a minute, for a while. Okay, someone could be moving or moving out or I don't know. This is just about heaviness though. It's the burdensome energy. It's the heaviness. It's I got to get it off my chest. Yeah, see, king of wands, someone taking action. 
someone taking the lead, taking action. All right, they, they wanna, again, I'm, I'm getting that similar energy I got earlier, I think it was with Taurus, where it's like this person views you as a blessing or this like sacred energy and they want to, they, they, they want it, they're proud of you. They, they want to, they want to have you on their arm. They want to have you by their side. They feel like you guys would make a great team. You know, this is someone coming in with a lot of love Libra. Okay. And communication energy for sure, for sure, for sure. Taking action here. King of wands. He's, he's got his, his eyes set on you. The king of wands in this deck, his gaze, the way he looks is so like, it's very strong. Okay. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting someone who watches you. They've got their eyes set on you. They want to, you know, I'm getting like, make a move, ask you out. Fiona and the unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. Card number 29 could be an age, but it breaks down to master number 11. Enlightenment, new beginnings. It could be like, you know, the mirrored soulmate energy, or it's connected to twin flame, 11, 11, 11. Um, so any of those could be resonant to you. Unicorns are going to be a synchronicity for you right now. All right. Um, you have the gift of sacred sight. Okay. Now I'm just going to be straight up. Libras, you can't get anything past a Libra, right? You, Libras are very highly aware, super intelligent, very intuitive, very connected to the ethers with the air energy. Um, and that's what this is. I feel that maybe your your sacred site or maybe your spiritual side or your intuition or your you know how strongly you pick up on things and it's almost like this person felt like you could see through them to their soul and i do feel that okay so that could have scared this person but i'm also getting that it's like you're a unicorn you're one of a kind you're unique you're beautiful you're this right like energy so man or woman it doesn't matter um this person they see you as something magical and otherworldly okay again i'm getting that vibe i think it was with leo of the one that got away all right so for scorpio for my beautiful scorps scorpio all right let's see for scorpio all right and if you guys are vibing with this so far please hit that like button you guys it does help the algorithms and the channel grow it lets youtube know like hey this is a channel worth watching kind of a thing um, but it's also a form of energy transfer where I pull on your guys' energies more accurately. Okay. And definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, cause that ties your energy into the channel too. And thank you for all of the support you guys. Okay. This is my, this is my business. This is my work. This is my bread and butter. So I really appreciate it. All right, here we go for Scorpio. Whoa. It's the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, you have two Aces, Scorpio. Yep, this is gonna be a good week for you, Scorpio. All right, so you have clarity moments. You have aha moments. This is some kind of truth. It's a divine truth coming your way, okay? It doesn't have to be in love. I mean, this could be a divine truth being revealed to you in different ways. It could be um, through signs, synchronicities, messages, or reading. It could be just profound moments of clarity. It's just downloads, you know, you connecting, crown chakra. Okay, but yeah, this is definitely um, some kind of, there's an offer here for you. Could be a solid offer in work. Okay, you could get, un, I'm getting like unexpected money this week. Okay, but this is blessed, stable, grounded, abundant new beginnings. I feel it's an honest truth that brings forth commitment. Uh-huh, I do. Let's just get one more real fast just to clarify for Scorpio. Yep, King of Pentacles. There he is with the Empress. Yep, there he is. Yep, it's someone that has an offer. They've been sitting on this offer for a minute, okay? doesn't have to be a past person. This could be a new person who's been seeing you, watching you, like admiring you. Like, you know, this could be someone who's been afraid to approach you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Because you're vibrating at high frequencies. You're the Empress. You are pulling and magnetizing in so much to you right now. I'm not surprised to see the Ace of Pentacles. There is money on the way. There is, like, I'm getting, um, like, again, like, just stable offers. You could have stable uh, ideas that come forth around this time where it, it brings some more stability in your life. Maybe starting a business or, you know, um, starting a channel or a podcast or it could be anything, right? So I just feel very creative energy around you guys, too. Like, you guys have really good ideas. 
Yeah, there's there's things coming to fruition for sure. Okay, but yep, definitely. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Um, someone who comes in and they are solid. They are serious. They want this. All right. For Scorpio, please. An Oracle card for Scorpio. Snow White and her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence. Card number nine. Beautiful. So animal spirits are going to be big. Okay, you guys probably really connect with animals. All right. You inspire trust and confidence. Okay, so you inspire people, Scorpio. It's like all the good that you've been putting out energetically or whatever you're receiving back. Okay, plus a lot of people look up to you. They're looking up to you. They see transformation within you. Um, but I feel whoever this person is to you, it's like they view you as someone who's you know, very confident, you're trustworthy, you're loyal, stable, you're all the things. So here they come. All right, for Sagittarius, please. For my beautiful Saggies, I did record a reading for you guys today. So that is up there as well. Sagittarius. Three, ooh, did you guys see that? I didn't mean to take that card, but it just came out, okay? All right, Ace of Swords. Okay, so here we go. What is this? Three of Cups, you have three, three. Three of Swords and Three of Cups. You're about to have a reunion with someone here. This is you coming together with soulmate energy this week. Okay? Now, I'm honing in on this week, right? Because it's for the last week of September. But keep in mind, time is uh, an illusion in that regard, right? So this could happen this week. This could happen next week. This could happen in three weeks, right? It's the incoming energy. But I feel it very strongly around this time, especially moving more closer to October. And going into October. Yep, absolutely. Someone is in pain being away from you. I'm getting the word suffering. Like they like they never thought they could feel this way about someone ever. Like this is tripping this person out. Okay, how much they want to be with you, how much they want to reunite with you, how much they have strong emotions for you. Okay. This could also be someone who had to separate themselves from a third party. Okay. A lot of clarity moments and divine truth coming in for you as well. This could also be someone who is um, having a lot of activity to the crown chakra in regards to life, you, this. They're having a massive enlightenment, which is make, bringing them more clarity about you, about this. All right, for Sagittarius, please. Whoop, there we go. Little Owlin, I love her. Look at her and her pumpkins and the, the, the beautiful horned owl. Wisdom as light as a feather, card number 39. Could be an age for sure. This is like beautiful energy coming through in wisdom, okay? It's, when it says as light as a feather, it's like knowledge, things being brought to light, things of that nature that are very light. It's nothing heavy. It's not, you know, that's what I'm getting from it. Okay. Owls are going to be a synchronicity and pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Speaking of pumpkins, I need to go get pumpkins for my home. Yes, I do. All right, for my beautiful Capricorns, Cappies, let's see what's up this last week of September. Where are you guys at? All right, for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn. For Cappies, this wants to come out. Four of Wands. Stability, something about the home, home life. You also have 11, 11. There is something about engaging with someone during at this time or someone wants to engage with you. This is a card of engagement, but engagement doesn't have to be like a ring. Although I do feel this person sees marriage with you. They want long-term with you. They, it's like they see you having fun, living your best life. This person, it's, it's, it's having fun with someone. All right, so stability, a strong foundation. You're vibing with someone this week. Someone wants to vibe with you. Let's get one more, please. For Capricorn. King of Wands, yeah. Okay, this King of Wands could be um, someone who 
they've got their eye on you. They're moving towards you. They, they are carrying a massive torch for you. There's also a lot of really strong sexual energy here um, with, with, with all this fiery energy. There's a lot of passion, chemistry, but I'm also getting, like someone is very attracted to you, very attracted to you, Capricorn. Um, like I said, he wants to be vibing with you. He wants to be with you, around you, dance with you, like just be in your energy. Um, this is someone who's taken the lead. They're, it's like they're taking action towards you. There could be some kind of arguing, battling, fighting on their end or maybe your end. I don't know. Um, they could have had some inner conflict here, confusion. All right. But what I'm getting is this is someone who is now seeing straight. Like they are, they're going, nope, I know exactly where I want to go, who I want to go towards, what I want, what, who I want it with. It's like that kind of energy, the world card. This is someone who's been going through massive levels of completion, ending cycles in their life, and now they're ready for new beginnings. And look who shows up again. You guys, he won't stop, okay? This is that secret admirer, secret love, someone who has things they gotta say to you. They admire you. They have strong emotions towards you. Um, again, deep attraction. So it's all here, Cappy. Let's see what, uh, what Oracle card comes out for you. Some of you guys need to move your body and dance too, okay? You need to like stretch, you need to move energy, you need to do something fun, free, let your body move, let your body move, you know what I mean? So I've been dancing a lot at night. I just put music on and I kind of, whatever I'm called to, or I'll let Siri, you know, pick a song or whatever, you know? And I just let it go, I just dance. It feels so good, you guys. And I've been feeling lighter, so just a little, food for thought. All right. For Capricorn, the sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield card number 38. Again, could be an age breaks down to master number 11 again. Okay. So for some of you guys, you've had to really shield yourselves. You, you could be shielding yourself and protecting, defending yourself this week for some reason. But what I'm getting is like someone views you as someone very strong. Okay. But this person who's coming towards you, they're not sure if you're going to be shielded or open. Okay. So there could be a little bit of like nervousness or, you know, fear of rejection kind of a thing, but they see you as someone very strong and he is someone very strong. So for him, he's going to want his queen next to him to be as strong as he is in, in these, in, you know, not like strength, but like your inner strength. Okay. So that's what I get. Someone sees you as someone very strong. Um, but again, they're not sure if you're going to be guarded, shielded, um, you know, when they come towards you, uh, possibly this week, right? So, okay. All right. So that was for Capricorn. All right. So now we got Aquarius, my beautiful Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius this week? Last week of September. Last week of September for Aquarius. Tonight, my, I have a date with my mom. My mom is coming over tonight and we are going to dinner and then we're gonna come back to my house and watch a movie. My dad is um, in Oregon on a fishing trip. So he is doing his man thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. So anyways, really important for us to be doing things like this right now, okay? So anyways, I was sharing and talking, but I was also, I set the intention for Aquarius. Aquarius, you have amazing energy this week. Around this time, happily ever after, emotional fulfillment. Um, this could be soulmate energy. Definitely rainbows being a synchronicity. It's like you're starting to see all of the beauty after the storm, okay? Some of you guys have been going through some storms, right? This is the, the promise after that, okay? It's you had faith and this moment things align for you okay all right family all the things yeah while you were healing you were praying for things you were manifesting things all right so what else for Aquarius Ooh, that was like a few different cards but <laughs> there we go okay yeah you're coming together with someone also this week, you could be like asked to go somewhere, an invitation. This is someone who um, needs to get something off their chest too. 
heaviness. I need to open it up. I need to share how I feel. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's someone who's been carrying around this, this burdensome, like emotional, it's just been building and building and building. And now it's so heavy. Okay. That they need to just let it out. They need to release it. Okay. And they're going to be open and vulnerable with you because you are a happily ever after for them, for each other is what I get. Right. Okay. And for some of you guys out there, this is about needing to release burdensome emotions, old energy, stuff that you're still carrying around with you from before, okay, from your past and whatnot, okay? And when you do, it allows space, energy space for this to come in, okay? So take what is for you, Could the whole thing could be for you, right? But definitely some kind of big, big love and happy ever after energy around you at this time. Yep. Someone wanting to give love, pour love into you. I mean, you, you are so deserving. You're so deserving, Aquarius. All right. Whoop. For Aquarius. Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, and artistic flow. So this week, you guys are very much in your creative side. You guys may be called to create. I feel like you guys need to. That's going to help you move energy. Okay, kundalini stuff. Okay, sacral chakra energy. That's going to, it's going to, if you've been celibate or not, you know, you've been protecting your energy in that way because sex is sacred. Um, we know way too much about energy exchange and energy residue and all the things, right? I feel you have a lot of creative energy that needs to flow out through your, you need to express it somehow through that, okay? Um, once upon a midnight dreary, I'm getting like the energy of like, this happens at the midnight hour. Like this happens when maybe you are just about to go, you know what, this person's never coming back or I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna stop allowing this energy to be in my energy field like this because I, you know, I'm moving on kind of a thing and then boom, this person shows up. Or, or maybe you're just like, I've been single, <laughs> like, I'm just going to start pouring more into myself and da, la, 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 la. And then all of a sudden, boom, it shows up. It's like at the midnight hour is what I want to say. Okay. So beautiful energy and the things that you guys have been creating, it's, it's creating a lot of beautiful abundance around you. Okay. I will say that. All right. Last, but certainly not least is Pisces. Beautiful Pisces. What do we have for this coming week of September? Whoop. Three of Wands and Page of Cups. Six of Cups, bottom of the deck. Okay, so watery energy is your energy. Your ships are arriving. Your ships are arriving and something happens out of the blue and it's like a past life soulmate comes in, reaches out. It's someone that you, you're just like, I, I like not in my wildest dreams was I picturing this like, okay, whether you know this person, don't know this person, it's like meeting someone out of nowhere and it's like instant soul recognition and love, okay? But this can also be past life soulmate energy, right? This could be someone from your past who's been dreaming of you, daydreaming, dreaming literally like in their sleep. They can't get you off their mind, okay, is what I want to say and they... Time has passed, but they, their feelings have not changed. Their feelings have gotten stronger. Okay. So this is someone who is going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to take a leap here. Okay. Cause she's, she's waiting for the right time, the right moment, the right wave. All right. To catch the wave. This person is done waiting. They, they feel you energetically getting farther and farther and farther away from them. They know they have to make a move. Like you're, you're by, like you're just, you're, you're going places, right? And they're like, if I don't act now, I may lose Pisces forever. Is kind of what the message is. All right. And then, like I said, for for some of you guys, it's it's you know a brand new person. Wow, beautiful energy, Pisces, the dragonfly mermaid. You've attracted wonderful news. Yeah. See, I told you, it's like it's like you can't believe it. It's it's like in your wildest dreams, and it doesn't even just have to be around soulmates or love or whatever. I mean, this could be your ships arriving, like. 
where, you know, I'm also getting you guys may have to make an abrupt decision and like this could be something that comes in and it's like a job offer or something and it's like, you know, we only have 48 hours for you to decide. I'm so sorry. I know it's a big choice or a big decision, but la 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 la, you know, things of that nature. Okay, so it could have to do with something like that, but I'm also getting someone saying to you, it's the energy coming forth of like, I'm not going to give up. Like, it doesn't matter how much time, like, you you know, I won't give up. Okay, so take that how it resonates. Dragonfly, mermaid. Dragonflies are going to be a sink. Mermaids are going to be a sink. You've attracted wonderful news, card number 19. That breaks down to a 10, which is completion and new beginnings. Okay? So there you go. Feeling a lot more levels of completion. This is for everybody, too. You know, like, I feel as we get closer, to move through this, we can get closer to... September, while we're in this Libran equinox energy, we are all going to start feeling this leveling out, this great balancing things, lifting, like, you know, um, seeing the things that we need to release so that we can rise more clearly, all the things, right? So let me go ahead and just for everybody right here at the end, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do, like I said, so, you know. I'm just, you know, feeling called to try new things on the channel, do new things, but like, not like, you know, like this, like maybe doing like a weekly, you know, all of the Zodiacs, you know, because I do the Zodiac, all 12 Zodiac readings for you guys twice a month, right? So sometimes I'll do it like three times a month, but twice a month, typically in the beginning and towards the middle or end of the month, but, um, you know, just to have some more interaction with you guys and the Zodiacs uh, during that time. I think it would be cool. Um, and I'm being called to just, like spirit, like the divine is, is guiding me to just be, I mean, I'm open with my channeling and all that, right? Like I always receive like different messages and, you know, stuff from Ascended Masters and, you know, but I always, always do the DMDF readings, which I will continue to do, obviously. Um, but it's just like open, like basically like I sit down and like whatever comes through, that's what I'm channeling. That's what we're doing. Right. And, um, I'm being opened up to way more stuff is the point. Okay. So it can be a lot of different kinds of messages coming through on the channel, but for whoever needs it, they will find it. They will come. Right. Okay. So let's get some energy overall for everybody. All right. For the whole collective universe. What is it? Let us know. What is this last week? of said, Oh shit. <laughs> Massive enlightenment here. You guys are going to be seeing things in a whole new light from a whole new perspective. Okay. All these cards flipped out. Well, I guess it wasn't that many, but King of Wands. Oh my gosh. Him and the King of Cups the whole time. Okay. So we have the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the High Priestess. This week, you guys are receiving massive energy to the crown downloads. This is divine downloads where these, like I said, ideas, these just, you guys are going to start receiving a lot more of guidance as to your next moves, your life path, your soul mission, um, around people, partnerships, you, your reality, your job, whatever it is. Okay. But the high priestess is the keeper of secrets, right? highly intuitive, very psychic. I mean, she doesn't, you know, she's, she's tapped in, right? She does not, she knows all the things, right? So again, I'm getting that very strong energy of you guys tuning in more. Okay. But also people around you or someone in particular who's super connecting right now and they are connecting to the soul and they're seeing the light and they're just like receiving all this insight, information, you know, signs in regards to you. Okay, this is someone who wants to come forward and communicate very passionately here. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I miss talking to you. I miss talking to you. All right, so they, the, the keeper of secrets, whoever's been secretive here, they want to reveal some things, okay? So a lot, of, again, new perspective, fresh perspective. So there's going to be things revealed this week. Yep, King of Pentacles and Page of Cups again. There he is. So a lot of that dreamy energy. I just recorded 
um, for the DM and for the Divine Masculine and, and Divine Feminine Collective today, uh, a reading. And it was all about how the masculine, it's like this masculine is manifesting you like crazy. And they don't even realize how strongly they're manifesting because they're doing it through daydreams like visions, daydreaming, getting lost, like thinking of like what it would be like to be with you, live with you, wake up with you every day, be able to talk to you every day, like what it would be like to be married to you or have a family with you, travel with you, you know, whatever it is. Like it gives me that power couple vibes where they're thinking about the future and like, God, we could be really good together and we would just work well with each other. We would like, you know, we, 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 we add to each other instead of take from each other. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here again with him, okay? So you have two kings. This could be multiple people, multiple people. For some of you guys, someone shows up and it's like, whoa, this was not who I was expecting. But for a lot of you guys, it is, okay? But it could be multiple people coming in, a divine masculine counterpart and a, a, a new soulmate or someone who comes in who's very interested and they're a viable option for you, okay? So... Hey, for me, again, it's it's miracle energy, it's magical moments, especially going into, you know, October. Heck yeah, yep, heck yeah, it's that time. So someone, but this could also be the same person, right? Okay, someone who's been holding on to an offer, who's, who's been thinking about this, okay? They wanna, they wanna take the lead, they wanna take charge, they wanna take action, okay? So that is what I have for everybody today. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I send love and light. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can always find the information down below in the description box. I do offer a few different spiritual services. Um, that is also where you will find the information for my sacred circle that I'm hosting. It's my fourth one for this 1010 portal, which this 1010 portal is explosive. It, it, it kicks off eclipse season, all right? Um, but I'm not doing it on 1010. I'm letting the energy build up because around the middle of the month is when like boom stuff is going crazy right so it's on the 14th of october which is a saturday at 10 a.m pacific standard time it is recorded so all the information is down below in the description box though so you can read about it what we're doing what it entails very powerful uh work being done here okay so anyways have a beautiful rest of your day have a beautiful week my loves thank you again for all of your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you guys so much let me know in the comments down below how you like this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.